Hi folks, David Creative Craft House to show you our new Brainiac 12 Math and Magic uh, puzzle. Uh, this is an extension of the Brainiac 9 puzzle which we designed. Uh, it is uh, more complex, does more things. Uh, I recommend that you do take a look at the video on Brainiac 9 prior to viewing this if you're not familiar with that. Uh, this will expand upon that trick. What we have here are 12 cards, and you'll notice that we have the digits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then we have three zero cards. There are three different woods used here with three distinct colors. Uh, they're all hardwoods. Uh, we, we laser cut these and laser engrave the numbers, so they're, they're very precise and uh, very attractive. Um, the idea is the trick that you are going is that you are going to predict a sum total of uh, some numbers that, the, uh, it's, that you have someone select. And here's how the effect goes. Uh, turn the cards, uh, have them turn the cards over. And they can mix them up any way that they would like. All right. We'll pull them off the screen a little bit. Then have them pick uh, any three of three different colors. Uh, for example, they may pick this one and this one and this one. Okay, a dark one. A three different colors here. We have, in this case, uh, walnut, ash, and alder. Have them do it again. Pick three uh, heads of three different colors, but put them in the same order. So we've got walnut, ash, and alder. And do that one more time. Uh, walnut, ash, and alder. Such that you have uh, three sets of three cards with the colors of the woods lined up vertically in a column like that. You do have three cards left over up here, okay, which uh, we're not going to use, and you can kind of pull off to the side. Now, uh, they, at this point, you can turn your back and tell them they can mix them up as they would like. They can change this with this. They can take this column and put it here. They can do pretty much what they like, as long as they keep uh, any one wood type or color uh, within the same column. Then while your back is turned, ask them to turn these over, and they will see that they have three sets of three-digit numbers. And this calc just it wasn't planned, but this came out with the three zero cards on top. So they have a zero, they have a 982, and they have a 537. What you want them to do is uh, to want to tell them is to add up uh, all three of these numbers. Remember, you have not seen any of these. So if I add those up, I have 0 plus 982 plus 537 is equal to a total of uh, 1,519. All right, I'm going to write that down here so we don't forget. A total of 1,519. Now, Tell them to uh, turn them back over, mix them all up. You walk over, you write down a number, and it will equal 1,519. Uh, pretty amazing. And, and I'm going to now tell you how it's done. If you don't want to know, you can shut the video off at this point. It really helps if you've seen Brainiac 9, but I'll give you a very brief uh, introduction to that. Um, in Brainiac 9, you only have nine cards, and you do not use the zero cards. Um, it uses a math fact that if, uh, well, let me, let me introduce the card, take out the zero cards and put in the, uh, the other cards where they belong here. You'll notice um, with these cards that any one column adds to uh, 15. We have 961, 843, and 762. They all add to 15. Uh, therefore, uh, we have 15 groups of 1, 15 groups of 10, and, and 15 groups of 100. What does that add up to, always? 15 groups of 100 is 15, 15 groups of 10 is 150, and 15 ones is 15. 1,500 uh, plus 150 plus 15 is always 1,665. Interesting. Um, the zero cards uh, introduce a great deal of variability into the possible uh, sum of your cards. Um, but it's very easy to arrive at the answer. Let me put this back the way uh, we had randomly chosen this because you now you'll notice that instead of having 15 groups of uh, 100 I've got 14 right the one came out 
I got 14. Instead of having 11 groups of 10, I mean uh, 15 groups of 10, I've got 11 because we took the 4 card out. And instead of having six, 15 groups of 1, I've got 9. So um, how do I find the answer? Well, it's really simple. Uh, I simply take the numbers that I withdrew, and I'm going to put them here just so you can see them, withdrew from the pile that you did not pick, and I need to be able to observe those, but the 1, 4, and 6 in the correct order that you had laid them down in the column, so 146 must be subtracted from the 1665 maximum possible total. And if I take 1665 minus 146, voila, I get 1519, exactly the number that we had added earlier. So it's very simple. Once they have gotten the total, you take the three cards that you pulled off to the side, put them in the same order as the color pattern that they've chosen, in this case, uh, it was 146. Subtract that number, 146, from 1665, and it will always equal the number chosen. Okay? So you're going to have a lot of different numbers possible. I believe it's 64 different numbers possible. Just like Brainiac 9, you can use this effect to combine the fact that you do know the number, uh, the total number chosen, uh, into other tricks. Uh, you can pre-prepare, for example, a phone book or some other book, um, and you're going to need a little a little notepad to to, to re reference and, and it'll look to the to, to the people you know the trick to like you're uh, just writing down the answer but in fact you're, you're you're looking at a little cheat sheet and you can reference that uh, for any given number chosen um, go to a certain page number in the phone book uh, represented by the first uh, three digits uh, of the no final number and count down to the phone number that is represented by the last digit of the number chosen and you will be able to tell them the phone number. Um, if the book is pre-prepared it's quite easy to do and just uh, quite astounding. Uh, difficult for them to figure out. So this is one of our designs. Uh, I hope you enjoy it and have some fun with it. Thanks very much.